Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amanda and I have a confession to make. I have been buying some stuff. Not a lot of stuff, but still, I have been collecting a few or I've been curating a few items for my wardrobe actually throughout the last, I guess, four months. And the last thing I actually just went and picked up in the post, which we have here, so we're gonna unbox it together, see how it turned out. It's a secondhand item, so always as exciting when you buy something from Vestier Collect right and you don't know how it's gonna turn up but I've had it authenticated it went through the checks smoothly so let's see how this turns out the theme of this video actually is that all of this I've bought secondhand and the other things I mean if you're a subscriber to this channel then you may have seen some of this stuff but I thought I would just bring it all together show you essentially the curation of items I've added to my wardrobe but without further ado let's just get into this haul shall we Yes. So the first thing you've for sure seen if you're a subscriber to this channel, it came in this cute little dust bag. So it's from Vestiaire Collective, as you may see. By the green color up here, you may already be able to guess what it is, right? And it's my green Avalon bag in the PM size. I'm like looking at it in the viewfinder. I'm like, wow, this green shade is still so pretty. I did film a like first impressions video for this bag and I'm still equally obsessed with it. I bought this bag because I felt like I had a gap in my wardrobe. I felt like I needed a messenger style bag. I needed something that was casual but still elevated and that I would still kind of like want to bring out and it would still feel like a luxury piece but it would be in this kind of like more casual format. Because I mean most of my bags they're kind of formal looking or kind of evening appropriate or anything like that or teeny tiny right? And I wanted something that would fit a little bit more and that that I could use like as a daily kind of driver bag, right? I'm just gonna clip on this shoulder strap for you because I spoke about that in my first impression video and it's kind of like in this spring onion green color, which I think pairs so nicely with the kind of darker green shade of this bag. I mean, if you don't have an Hermes Evelyn, I get that this bag is kind of like an acquired taste, right? Initially, when I first saw this bag, I was like, why is there holes in the bag in the shape of an H? I didn't think it was particularly pretty, to be honest, but I studied a little bit on the history of the bag and that this actually is the front of the bag and this is what I wear to the front as well when I actually wear the bag, right? So I usually just, let me just demo for you a little bit here. So I usually just throw it over my shoulder have the actual front to the front and it's hands-free and it's so easy and it's so like chic, so pretty. Let me take a step back, step back, step back. <laughs> this is a bag. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> ridiculousness. I mean, what else would you expect on this channel, right? But yes, first thing is my Hermes Evelyn. I'm so obsessed with this bag. Like every trip I've gone on, I've brought this bag as kind of like my daytime bag. I mean, when I'm running errands in my hometown, this is like all I gravitate towards. And to be honest, I'm kind of like in this space now where I'm like, wow, I would love to have a collection of Evelyn bags in like different shades. Specifically, I would love to have an Hermes Evelyn in the GM size, so the size that's like this one is 29 centimeters so the one that I think is 31 centimeters and a little bit taller as well and I think that bag would just be fabulous and I want it in like the etube color so like the gray color with the contrasting light stitching oh my gosh that bag is so pretty can I get one right away right but back to the actual bag I have I'm so thankful to have it and I'm so happy I bought it I actually bought this one as kind of like a birthday gift to myself because you know when you turn 28 you're like oh my gosh I'm getting old I need something to cheer me up right <laughs> so I bought an Hermes Evelyn I'm so happy about it and I got actually quite a great deal on it as well I bought it for what is it now with currencies I mean I buy everything in Swedish crowns right but no one will appreciate me giving prizes in Swedish crowns because we're like two people who live in Sweden right <laughs> and everyone else lives in a country with euros or US dollars right but let me see so essentially I bought this bag for 1100 to 1200 euros I mean like I said I buy everything in Swedish crowns I'm dependent on the like exchange rate on my phone but that's essentially the price I bought it for I mean these retail for quite a lot more so 
I would say I got it kind of like half off, which I think is great for our mess and great for such a timeless piece. So I'm very happy with this purchase. Next up is a clothing item, which I bought, I would say a couple of weeks ago. And it's one that I've been gravitating towards a lot because I mean, now after the kind of global sickness situation is kind of over, I've actually been going into like an office, like going out for dinners, going out for drinks, you know, all of that. I felt like there was a missing piece in my wardrobe. I feel like I've been lacking in the skirt department. And I wanted like an A-lined, just black, casual type skirt. And I found this one from Tiger of Sweden. And it's just a perfect skirt, to be honest. I just felt like a good, solid black skirt you can never go wrong with. I've been wearing it both casually and kind of like dressed up. And to be honest, maybe this is ratchet. <laughs> when I've been wearing it to like the office and stuff, I've been wearing it like as it should be worn, right? But if I wear it at night and I want a little bit of a shorter skirt, and if I have a top with essentially a hem that's longer, or is it called a hem when it's a top? Or is that only on a skirt? The big questions of life again. Okay, cool. But yes, I mean, when, when I'm wearing it at the office, I'm just wearing it as per usual. And then if I want a little bit of a shorter skirt and I have a top that's kind of like covering the top of the skirt, then I just fold it over. And I mean, you can barely see it at the back. You can see the actual kind of tag thing. And I'm thinking of taking the tag off back there actually, because if the tag wasn't there, I mean, then you would barely see that I had folded over a little waistband, right? But then it turns into a little bit of a shorter skirt. And I mean, you know, in some situations, you just need a little bit of a shorter hemline to make your outfit pop. And I am definitely one on the kind of shorter hemline side of life. But yes, this little mini skirt I've been loving. I think it's so great. I think everyone needs a classic black mini skirt. So next up, we have another item which I bought myself for my birthday. And you have seen this if you've been on my channel even like once because I mean, this is just my favorite thing of life. It's a Sandringham short trench coat from Burberry and it's in this kind of cool tone beige color. It has the cute like Burberry checkered interior. It has the little kind of chain hanger and it has the belt which I usually keep tied at the back like so. And I don't know, it's just the best and most versatile coat I've ever had for like springtime. I'm not gonna ramble on more than this because because I do have a dedicated kind of first impression video for this one as well. And you've heard everyone on the internet talk about how great it is to have a Burberry trench coat already, right? So I'm not gonna bore you, but I just wanted to check in and say that this piece is just my literal favorite piece in my wardrobe and I wear it every chance I get. Look at it, it's so pretty and it's so like, it's literally perfect. I got this one secondhand as well actually and I got it for such a good deal. Seriously, I found it on Bestier Collective and I could not believe my eyes when I saw it. I bought it for 300 euros. Excuse you? 300 euros for this? <laughs> <laughs> it's like in literally new condition. Honestly, if you haven't started browsing Vestier Collective already, I mean, this is not sponsored. I wish it was though, Vestier Collective. If you see this, please sponsor me. <laughs> but why would you? Because I'm already shopping with you for no sponsorship, right? So <laughs> that's a bad deal for you, but please sponsor me anyway. So happy about this. Let's move on to the next piece. And the next piece is one that I'm not sure why I've snoozed on having this type of piece for so long because it's just such a solid piece to have and it goes very well into this kind of like tennis chic aesthetic which we're seeing on the internet all over right now, right? And it's just like a classic Ralph Lauren polo. It has the little Ralph Lauren cute horse over there. And it's just like a short sleeve, kind of like fitted polo top, you know. If you don't already have one of these, go get yourself one. This is gonna be like my everything during the summer, let me tell you. And I mean, it also looks good with that Burberry trench coat and the Hermes Avalon, right? So <laughs> what a combo. 
love it and the last clothing item i have for today is a thrifted white linen shirt this is a men's shirt it's by the brand strems it's a swedish brand as well and these usually retail for i think 200 euros but i got it for 20 euros it's literally the prettiest linen shirt ever i mean i'm wearing a linen shirt right now so i mean you might be able to tell that i'm obsessed with linen shirts for the summer and yeah i bought it in a size men's 39 not sure if that tells you anything either but just for reference and yeah just a white linen shirt everyone needs one i now have one and i'm so happy i was able to find one such a good deal in the thrift shops the next thing i have to show you is a card holder and you know i've been wanting a card holder for a while i was thinking of getting that pretty ysl one with the logo on the front and the kind of chevron stitching i mean we all know which one i'm talking about we all know they're so pretty essentially i ended up getting a card holder as a gift it came in this little box I mean, this is not an unboxing because I've already kind of used it. Came in a box, came in a dust bag, and it's by the brand Mont Blanc. They usually do pens and stuff, and they're like really high quality pens. I think it's just the prettiest little thing. And this shiny black leather, it has the little Mont Blanc logo. It just has six card slots. It has one compartment in the middle as well for like, I don't know, receipts, cash whatever you want to keep in there. It's just such a timeless, classic, good-looking piece, and it's kind of like low-key as well, because if you don't know this logo, then it's just like a black card holder, and it's very sleek and chic, I think, so... Plop it back in the dust bag and down in the box because that's usually how I store it when I'm not wearing it because I think the packaging is so neat as well. So Mont Blanc card holder, so cute. Such a like understated piece, which I have barely seen anyone talk about on YouTube. I'm not sure if I'm hanging in the wrong circles for this type of piece, but I'm very happy to have one and I'm so thankful that I got it as a gift as well. So now to the most exciting part and the thing we've all been waiting for, the unboxing of my Vestier Collective item. Let's see. By the title, you've probably already seen that. I mean, it's a pair of shoes. It's a pair of Manolos. They're a pair of black Hangisis. I'm praying that they're gonna be as pretty as they look in the picture. Can we just do it like this? I guess so. Okay, unboxing. Exciting times. Oh my god, here they are. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at these shoes. Oh my gosh. And it did say that they were lightly worn, so that I'm expecting. Look at these shoes. Oh my gosh. Look at them. Oh my gosh, so pretty. And they're in a size 37 and a half. They're lightly worn, like I said. They have been authenticated by the Vestier Collective team, so they have this little tag as well. And what I was worried about, I mean, when buying these types of things secondhand, it's always like the tip of the satin but that's completely fine and i mean in a black color i think they will be so versatile as well so i'm very happy about this purchase and yeah that was it my new in items my little unboxing as well from vestir collective with my new sparkly manolo heels ah i have another pair of manolos how fun is that oh my gosh but yeah thank you so much for watching it was so nice having you with me today for my little chat and haul collective haul we should say i didn't buy this all in one go i bought it in the span of four months right so if you did enjoy this video please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel i make videos all about this type of luxury fashion stuff every sunday if you're not sick of my face i'll link a few other videos right here which youtube thinks you should watch and until my next video stay safe take care and see you soon Bye.